in this Carhartt 25 liter classic laptop backpack review. I'm gonna let you know everything to decide if it's the bag for you. I'm gonna show you every part of this bag. I'm gonna go through the pros and the cons. Well stitched, best zippers in the game, dual water bottle pockets. But is it weather resistant? No, this not really nice elastic. And if it's not the bag for you, you're definitely gonna wanna stick around to the end where I'll make some alternative recommendations for other bags that might better suit your needs. Let's talk about the gist of the Carhartt 25 liter classic laptop backpack. Now it's funny, cause I wanna be like, yo, Carhartt bags are blowing up. And they are, like I'm seeing them more and more. But this company, Carhartt, is founded in America and they've been around since 1889. So they're not some new kid on the block, but they've been making a lot of outdoor gear and jackets. But like I said, I've just been seeing more and more of these backpacks where I live in Hong Kong. And for good reason, as the name suggests, it's a 25 liter laptop backpack. 25 liters is great for everyday carry and or light travel. And the laptop part is obviously why it's sort of a little bit more urban-y. It's not really much of a hiking outdoorsy bag, but it can double as that. I'll talk about that in just a little bit. Some top features. We got this half moon front pocket with a few other pockets in there right in the front. Dual external water bottle holders. A pretty spacious main compartment. Pretty dark, but it's spacious. And some pretty well padded, albeit stiff shoulder straps. It's also important to keep in mind, like this is not a super premium bag. I'll tell you the price in just a second, but with everything in life, you get what you pay for. This is not a bag that uses super luxurious materials or has extremely thoughtful, modern engineering. It's an old school bag that gets the job done. Now on the website, the weight of the bag is not specified, which I don't like. But we're a bag review channel. It's what we do for a living. So I came to play. I got a scale. Let's see how much you weigh. I'm going to guess a pound. According to our scale, that's 1.2 LBS, which is very, very lightweight for a 20 liter bag. This is the bag when it's empty. And this is the bag when it's fully packed out and worn on me. For reference, I'm five foot eight. And don't you worry, I'm gonna pack it out throughout this entire review so you can see exactly what it fits. And for all that, this bag currently runs around 60 US dollars. And if at any point in time during this review, you're thinking to yourself, 60 bucks seems reasonable. Fair price for a fair bag. And you're gonna make a purchase. We do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Reason being that link makes sure that you get the best price and that we oftentimes have discount codes, but that link also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you very much. All right, let's talk about the front of the Carhartt 25 liter classic laptop backpack. First up is the material. This is a 600D polyester. Polyester is what all the backpacks used to be made out of until one backpack company made a bag out of nylon and they were like, it's much better than polyester. And then all the other backpack companies are like, we're gonna make our bags out of nylon too, because it's technically more weather resistant, water resistant and kind of durable. But but that's not to say polyester is bad. Polyester is that classy backpack material. It's lighter, still has some weather protective abilities and still feels great to the touch. Next up, the branding. Got this little stamp right here. This is like an old school heritage bag. So it's gonna have that old school heritage stamp. So if that's your thing, you can either, you know, like, yo, I love adventure. Or maybe you're hipster ironic. What are you, a wave? Are you a C? It's mysterious, that's for sure. Let's talk about this front pocket though. because it's quite interesting. It's got this little circular half moon opening. These zippers are YKK, best zippers in the game. And you can see what we're inside. We got one sleeve, one, two elastic mesh pockets, a little space below, and a key ring. Let's load it out with a few things. Since this is a laptop bag, I'm gonna put some stuff in there that might, you know, you might, you might use to get some work done. We got the journal, portable battery, wires, and a couple pens. The journal, we'll put it in the back slot. Perfect, this is a moleskin. What size moleskin are you? I have no idea what size it is, but it's like this size. This is a human face. This is a moleskin. It's a human face size moleskin. We're gonna put that in that back sleeve. The elastic mesh pockets, let's talk about the elastic real fast. I reviewed, you know, I don't know, like 400 backpacks at this point in time. And I love really nice elastic and this, is not really nice elastic. You just gotta keep that in mind when you're getting this bag. Like this is, they're not splurging on materials. They're making this bag for like 10 bucks and selling it for 50 or 60 and that's their game. So battery in one, wires in the other. For me, I'm gonna throw these pens just on the inside of this sleeve and the keys will go on the leash. Now, one thing that's cool is this pocket actually has some decent expansion. So you can just kind of keep it like this and it'll stay flush or you can really test its capacity and throw an air tech pouch in there and you'll see, get it right on in there, zip it on shut and kaboom, 
that's impressive capacity. And one last note before we jump into the next section is just like, you know, I can see why this brand is doing well for itself. Cause yes, it's a budget friendly bag, but that doesn't mean it's cheap or at least cheaply made. I'm seeing the stitching right here and I'm feeling the construction of the bag. It just doesn't feel like this thing's gonna break, dude. Is it weather resistant? No, like you're not gonna wanna get caught in a torrential downpour with this, your bag will be soaked, right? So you're not getting those sorts of premium benefits from this bag. But in terms of construction, you know, just like a Jan Sport or other more budget friendly bags that have stood the test of time, it's because their bags also stand the test of time. And if you're thinking to yourself, wow, we get it, dude. You're a backpack nerd. You like talking about stitching on backpacks. What a nerd, am I right? Yes, I am a backpack nerd. So much so that I actually don't know if you know this, but I'm actually building my own backpack here on the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. That's right, publicly documenting my entire experience of building this bag from the ground up. So if that interests you and you wanna learn more about the process of building a highly technical game-changing backpack, I'm talking, it's gonna, it's gonna be expensive. It's gonna be like a two, $300 backpack, a bit pricier than this guy. And if you wanna see what that process is like, I'd love for you to join us on our email list, which you can find with the second link in the description below. That link will show you where we're at with the project and how you can get involved. I hope to see you in your inbox. Back. To this guy. Let's talk about the middle of the Carhartt 25 liter classic laptop backpack. I have a sneaking suspicion that one thing you and a lot of people who are watching this review are going to appreciate are the one and two external water bottle pockets. Or just pockets, right? You can put other things in there. You don't need a water bottle. You can throw a wet umbrella in there. Note how difficult it was to get the umbrella in there. One thing I want to note about these pockets, you do have a pull tab, which makes it a little bit easier to sort of open it, but it's a tight capacity. So if you got a big old water bottle, 34 ounce Yeti. Let's see if this will fit. I do not think it will. Oh, ooh, no effing S. Okay, I stand corrected. I thought that I was gonna make a point and be like, boom, take that Carhartt. Uh, but looks like I'm the one who got boomed. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Yet again, to understand the dimensions of this, this is the Yeti 34 ounce. So if you wanna know, Aaron, what's the max capacity water bottle that the Carhartt 25 liter classic laptop backpack of fit? It's this Yeti water bottle. And you can look on the Yeti website for those dimensions. But to give you the full spectrum, I got also a 17 ounce Lark water bottle here. And you can see this guy fits with room to spare. It's not gonna be the best water bottle holder at the price point, gets the job done. Main compartment, YKK zippers covered by this little flap, this little lip right here. This just adds a little bit extra weather resistance, make sure the water doesn't, like if you do get caught in that torrential downpour, it's not like, you know, getting through the zippers of the rain. But sometimes these little flaps get a little annoying, right? Like your zipper might get caught in it sometimes. Not the end of the world, but something to keep in mind. And then we're in, kind of in. Cause one thing to note is with external water bottle holders is you can never get full clamshell opening. For instance, take a look at this beautiful Bellroy classic backpack with no water bottle holders on either side. You know, you can get that much more complete ah, moment, right? This is a bit harder, especially with the front pocket packed out. And one other thing that immediately comes to mind is the blackness, the darkness of this main compartment. I mean, that is dark. Nothing against dark. I, I'm working on my tan all the time, but yet again, to compare to the Bellroy where they use a lighter red color, like see how much more accessible the, that color makes the interior of the bag versus the darkness of that. So if you look at that, it's, it's kind of scary. I don't even want to go in there. But let me know, like, what do you think? Does a super dark main compartment like this, like freak you out the way that freaks me out? Or do you not care. Let me know in the comments below. And in the main compartment, there's not a lot to talk about. There's really only this divider right here, which is like a basic, like, I don't know, plasticky kind of a material with a little band on top that has barely no elasticity. And this is where I will heed warnings for you about this bag. Cause you might be thinking to yourself, it's a laptop bag. I need a laptop bag. Cause I have a laptop and I have to transport it. This is uh, ooh, yeah, this is not a good laptop compartment. Is it okay at the price point? Yes. But um, this thing is not, this is just like, a, like this is, this is bad. And there's no real false bottom at the bottom. The laptop's just kind of right there. And there's not a lot of padding. All right, you know, we, we, we got a bit of padding on the back. That's at least, there's that. But everything else, I'm just gonna be honest with you, if you have, I don't know, a $2,000 laptop, sometimes it's worth it just to invest that extra 100 bucks in a backpack that as opposed to costing 50 bucks, costs 150 bucks because this laptop compartment, as you can see right here, it's just microfiber materials, thick padding on the front and the back, plus 
a really nice false bottom. I understand different price points, different conversations, but also a conversation you might want to have because I would not feel comfortable putting my laptop in here unless you have a really, really nice laptop case. And if you're looking for a laptop sleeve recommendation, we did a full roundup and you can find that in the YouTube card, which will be in, in one of these corners. I, I, I guess that one, but it could be this one, but you'll find it. Now let's fill out this main compartment so you get an idea of the bag's capacity. All right, you can see I got a bunch of stuff. We got a t-shirt, sweater, tech pouch, converter, book, portable tote, portable battery, tripod, umbrella. Let's see if we can fit that big old Yeti water bottle in the middle as well. All right, we're gonna do the sweater on the bottom, tech pouch. Now you see the darkness that I speak of, right? I got a huge light right here that's the size of a freaking spaceship. And even with the lighting, it's hard to see sort of what's going on in there. T-shirt, throw a book on the back like that. Nice umbrella, battery. Let's see if we can get that Yeti in there. Oh, it's fitting tripod, tote, universal adapter. And you can see we've got some more room to spare on the top right here, right? It's just, go, it's just going to like right here. We're like at three quarters full. And that's the whole thing with a sort of old school bag like this. There's no frills, there's no unnecessary features, which means that you just got a lot of space to deal with. And it's an impressive amount of capacity, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about the back of the 25 liter classic laptop backpack from Carhartt. Got this little top handle right here. It's a basic hook, you can carry with it. It's not much to be said. It's very well stitched. Lots of reinforcement there. This handle ain't going nowhere, baby. But let's talk about comfort. Comfort of a bag comes down to two things shoulder straps and the back panel because you want those two things to give you two other things which is comfort and ventilation. The polyester material should breathe pretty well and you can see on the back panel we have some of these cuts. These just kind of, you know, it's like a little 3D-ness and the breeze can just sort of creep on through. But it's not gonna be like as comfortable as like a molded back panel or something with like a lot more padding like something from Air or Evergoods. The shoulder straps for the price point, I think they are bringing some decent padding to the table. Like I said, they're a little stiff but they'll probably definitely break in over time. The polyester material itself does feel a bit coarse. So if you're wearing, let's say a tank top with this bag, you might get a little scratchiness going on, some reddening of the skin. And then as per the use with a bag in this price range, you have these really, really, really cheapest of the cheap nylon webbings going on, which, you know, as long as they hold up, that's fine. But also, which is common for bags of this price range, is there's no nylon webbing to stop the nylon webbing. So you got this dangle. Got this happening, which show the meme. That's me in a meme saying, stop the dangle. Cause I believe we all as a world and as a society and as a people need to stop the dangle. That's my political slogan. Vote for me 2024. And that's it, pretty basic. Let's talk about the overall pros and the cons of the Carhartt Classic Laptop Backpack. Pro number one, it's very, very, very well stitched and put together, especially for the price point. Pro number two, pretty impressive capacity and just like use case of this front pocket. It's kind of fun. Pro number three is gonna be these dual water bottle pockets. But I also have some cons with this bag and you're gonna hear them. Con number one is a pretty bad lack of water resistance. This material will just, just bleed through water if it starts to rain. Con number two is the darkness of the main compartment. And con number three, let me tell you, this is not somewhere I'd be super stoked putting my laptop, that's that's for sure. In fact, get out. Get out now while you can, run! But maybe you have a really protective laptop sleeve and you just totally dig in the vibes of this bag and you're thinking to yourself, uh, I'm getting one right now. Or you wanna learn more information. Just a reminder that we do ask that if you do so to use the first link in the description below because it helps to support our YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate, thank you. But like I said, maybe you're not quite sure and you wanna hear some of those alternative suggestions. I got two for you plus another video suggestion. Let's run through them. Alternative suggestion number one is gonna be the Jan Sport Super Break. Classic, iconic bag. This is for you if you were like, you know, I didn't need the laptop thing and I actually am on even more of a budget, 60 bucks too much. Give me the cheapest, best bag you got. That's this guy and we did a full review on it. To And to watch that review, just go ahead and navigate down to the description below and you'll find a link to our full video. And then alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Bellroy Classic Backpack. I kept sort of alluding to this bag in this review when talking about the Carhartt, because they got a lot of similarities. Great colors, classy look. But this is like the souped up premium Mercedes version versus like the, the Toyota that is Carhartt. And to learn more about the Bellroy Classic Backpack, we did a full review and you can find it by checking the description below. And then finally, if you're on a budget and you need some more backpack recommendations, you're gonna wanna go ahead and watch this video right here, which is a roundup of our favorite budget backpacks. Travel bags, everyday carry bags, everything in between. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments below. I personally respond to every single one myself. Thank you for watching. My name is Aaron, this is Nomad's Nation, and we'll catch you next time.